Hey guys, what's up? This is Blingshot, and today we are in Rust right now. Um, Rust is a pretty new game. Uh, I think a lot of people have known about it for a while, but it came on Steam uh, a week ago, or about sometime around then. And I've been playing it a lot, actually. I have about 20 hours clocked on it, so I know a good portion about it. Um, so I decided I was going to play a life with you guys. I never end up being able to get too far. Um, there's a guy over there. I see him. But um, I never... I can never get far. I always end up getting a lot of stuff and getting prepared to build a house and it just never ends up working. I always end up getting raided or something. My last life I played it with a friend. It's working out real well. We had so much. We had like a thousand uh, metal fragments and we got raided by some guy that I killed. Uh, so it goes to uh, show. Always be nice, I guess. <clears throat> I didn't have to kill him either, which I really shouldn't have, but I was getting bored, so I wanted to kill someone. <laughs> so, I do have 20 hours clocked, but I actually do not know what the map is like. Um, I've been pretty much going like blind, running around and uh, stuff like that. Look at this, this is a sleeper right here. Yep, sleeper. Doubt he has anything, but... Uh, if you guys are brand new to the game, asleep, um, you can never actually be... Oh, sweet! You can never actually... Uh, like, you're always on the server no matter what. Okay? Unless you die, then you're just, you know, an entity that's ready to be spawned in. But, um... Oh, wow, I didn't even... Lots of minerals here and everything. But, um, when you log off, your body becomes a sleeper. It pretty much looks like you're dead, but if you hit them, you know, you obviously know they're a sleeper. They can't do anything while they're sleeping. This totally eliminates the problem of, uh, PvP logging. And, you know, some people don't like it because you can die in your sleep, but it does make it a lot more realistic, which is good. Um, this guy had some nice stuff. Large wood storage. It's really nice. Now, the only problem I seem to find is being able to find a good spot for a house that you enjoy while staying hidden. These guys are out in the open. Guarantee you, you know, they don't really, they probably don't occupy it, to be honest, because usually if you build a house out in the middle of Nowheresville or anything like that, it's gonna get found within 10 minutes or within a day 20 minutes you know half an hour something like that and you're most likely gonna get raided um, although if you're lucky and you find a good spot or whatever you can make a good house build it up be invincible that's good but unfortunately it never ends out working for me uh, now I'm going to make a stone hatcher right now because we have enough to make that. Oh, I hear an airdrop. Um, I don't know how often these do them. Like, an airdrop, like once every half an hour or once every hour, there will be three, like, big crates or storage crates or whatever drops from the sky, and they'll have, like, random amounts of loot, good loot, and, uh, you gotta, uh, well, you don't have to do anything. You can go after them. They're pretty much like... It's pretty much like forcing you out of your house if you want really nice stuff. And then other people can end up killing you. So, yeah. Gotta be careful there. Um, I'm thinking if you guys do like this series, I might uh, do a let's play with my uh, buddy. And we'll play through it. But he's always playing Daisy, so he doesn't play a lot of us. There's about 50 players on the server too, so it's pretty decently populated. Uh, 
uh, we might not see anyone for a little while, but trust me, once I get a house down and we're staying in one area, we'll start seeing people. There are a lot of resources here, which is really good. Because you need like 2,000 wood in order to build a proper house. Uh, you can chop down trees. I think I see someone really... Yep, I do. He's near that house. Um, you can chop down trees to get wood, but uh, it takes a lot longer than hitting up those uh, wood bundles. And wood bundles randomly spawn just like... Uh, just like the ore do. Uh, I think ore is more abundant than the wood bundles though, so... But I only chop down wood bundles, pretty much. Um, sweet, we have like 250 wood. Uh, there is a little shed right here. Yeah, right here. To be honest, that's probably where I would have made it, but... This place has like a high concentration of people. Wait, is that the hangar over there? Oh, no, I think I know where that is. Oh, there is, there's the hangar. I actually got a, uh, a group of buddies that live, um, that live around here. I know where our old base was, but, uh, I don't know where the new one is. But I decided to go off alone. I like, I like playing alone because it's a lot more of a challenge, and when you do have a lot of people in your group, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know who's friendly and who's not. You know, if I see someone, I want to be able to have the ability to shoot them on sight. Look at this. I could just take this over if I really wanted to. Oh, never mind. I could take that over if I wanted to. Actually, if I go in there, I'm not going to be able to get out, am I? Yeah, this is not a good idea. See, uh, you gotta find the right server and the right spot because you cannot be near other people. I mean, obviously, there's gonna be people no matter where you go, but you gotta be really careful. That's just the gist of it. I know where that is. Oh man, we live right next to. or my old house. I was right next to my base, pretty much. You can break your legs, so you gotta be careful jumping down and shit. I love the spot that I lived in last time, but it got raided, so I sorta of don't wanna... I don't wanna build there, but I really actually do. I knew a house that was abandoned that I could just take over. Real easy. Pretty much, we need a ranged weapon really to take on these guys that are that are catching us. Yep, I know exactly where we are. Is that an enemy? Yes. That's new. Oh shit! Fuck. Guy, I'm friendly. He's gonna kill me anyway. The fact that he's not running after me right now definitely means that he has a regular shotgun. Or a pipe shotgun. No, I don't know where the fuck this is. I'm surprised he just left me alone. Oh, that gave me a scare. I 
did not even see him. Did someone see him? I'm a little bit framey. I hope the video is not framed. Bunch of supplies. Uh, oh, I know. I know these guys. Oh, I know exactly where I am. I lied. I know exactly where I am. These guys, uh, I met a friendly guy who, um, when I was freshly spawned before, who told me that those guys right there shoot on sight. That was probably one of the clan mates right there who shot at me. Fucking douche. But, uh, you probably noticed that I don't really have anything. Although I do, really. I have some nice stuff. Decent amount of resources. That's brand new right there. Because uh, I built a base here yesterday. I was on, you know, this exact area yesterday. And I built far away from those guys, made sure of that. But uh, now, I, I want to build in the same area because I, I know where everything is if I build there. But the guys that raided me are going to hate me. And there's a lot of more noobs moving and these weren't here yesterday. I could move into that if I really wanted to, but then I'd have a neighbor. Wood. Or it's not bad. I, I'll take that. Don't look like anyone's around, even though I'm in the middle of the field. Two wood. Didn't even see that. So there's, a there's an abandoned house over this mountain right there in the middle of the fields that I could take over if I really wanted to. Would not be hard for someone to raid me though, so I think I might stay away from it. I actually really need animals and it doesn't look like there's any around here. They usually s oh, oh no, I know where they spawn. Okay. See if my old house is still there. And I'm about to die from hunger, so I should probably not run. Yeah. Sun's going down to not good. Um I was gonna just go straight to the area where my old house was and just see if my Buddy's house is there, but he said he got raided, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna live around this area, but uh, not where I got raided. First, first though, um, I need food really bad, so let's see if we can find me some food. I'm not gonna swing my swinging your hatchet also brings your hunger down. If you see in the bottom right hand corner, I don't know if you guys have noticed yet, but there's a food bar right there. Uh, if that hits zero, you start losing health. Oh, and for some reason I have radiation on it too. This is where my old house was. It was just a little shack. Three shacks, actually, because we had so much stuff. We had to build a third shack, and we each lived separately. Um, yeah, it looks like, uh, it looks like everything's gone. They tore everything down. It was a clan of four people. That attacked us. You know what? Those are probably the guys who lived on the shore. I just realized who probably attacked us. What bastards. So I don't think I'm gonna build there. Maybe I'll build in there. There's a little cove in there that it looks like is protected from everything. But yeah, I had a pretty good run back there. It's really nice. There's the house you can see. Oh no, that's a, that's a different house actually, but you get the meaning. 
Two deer. I'd love some food, but unfortunately deer just love to run from you. Yeah. Just love running. Dead ass, though. Yeah, I'm not gonna catch a deer. Here's a pig, perfect. Running towards a wolf. Yep. Ah, oh, damn it. I won't die from hunger, but I need to get that pig's meat really bad. Luckily, I picked up some uh, large med kits, which are the best in the game. I'm surprised that that noob had them. Shit, it's still running after me. Um, so I could just use those when I get low on HP. Shit, are you kidding me? God, so slow. Do I have meat? I have two meat. I'm good enough. That will give me a thousand health. Not health, but... Oh, man. Someone took over the base. Shit. Now I have a bear on me. Oh, looks like he lost interest already. Oh, never mind. When it becomes nighttime, you can literally not move. Like, you cannot see. That's what I meant. Ah, oh, this is perfect. Uh, where is it? Wood shelter. Oh no. Fuck. What the fuck? Did he just get off me? Oh my god, I am so lucky. Whew. Gotta make a wooden door. Wooden doors lock once you place them, so... You know you're in the clear. I did have to use a large med kit. I really want to save this other one. Ah, oh, there's someone already living here. Branch. Oh, sweet! Screw this, I'm taking this guy's house. Or maybe he left it because he couldn't... No, you can put a door on it. Just gotta find that right angle. Oh, come on, let's go. Found it before, why can't I find it now? Oh, god damn. Oh, no. There we go. Wait. No, stop. There we go. Alright, campfire. I got it. I'm just gonna make it. Campfires also uh, heal you just by standing near them as long as they uh, are lit. That's good. I have some stuff that I need to put away. Large wood storage. Okay. I hear something outside. It's 
someone break in someone's house or something. Oh my god. Why can't I place this down? Yeah, I do not like the sound of that. <sighs> Hunting bow. Oh, perfect! Maybe I can kill this guy. Dunsky. Uh, where is it? Arrows. Let's make like five sets of arrows. Four sets of arrows. Uh, every time you craft one one arrow, like in this, it'll give you four. So that's good. I really want to go figure out what the heck that was. I might just place this bad boy down. Nah. Guess we'll have to make a regular wood storage box. Let's see if that'll work for us. <laughs> I can't see, so I don't know if I should go uh, exploring. Oh, you know what? I am past my limit. I forgot. So, this is going to be the end of this episode, guys. I'll wait out the night, and I'll cut out that uh, footage. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a like if you did. It really helps me. Uh, share the video if you want. Uh, follow me if you want more. And definitely put in the comments what you think about this game. And if I should be doing more uh, Let's Plays of it, because uh, I'm going to be honest, this is one of my faves. I'm loving this game. So I would be happy if you guys want me to make more, because I could probably make like you know, 30 episodes or some shit. 100? I don't know. <laughs> so uh, tell me what you guys think, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Later, guys.